Hi, Rowena Patton here, and I thought we'd take a quick tour of good old Clement Juglar's economic cycle that he set back in 1860 that's run about 7 to 11 years ever since. You can Google economic cycle and find pretty much the same thing. Different people lay claims to it. So many of you remember what happened back in 2007. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, pretty much like the stock market. Normally this line has little jutters on the way down. So all of these pink areas are headlines. So at the very peak, we are in euphoria. Oh my gosh, my house is worth, well, uh, what's my pension's going to be and I can retire right now. And then as the market crests, we go into denial and then fear. And you can see all of this in the, in the headlines, panic, depression. And then as it starts to turn, you'll see all the headlines talk about hope and then optimism and then excitement and then all the way back to euphoria again. And most markets in the US peaked at the end of, around the end of 2022. Um, not every single market, you check with your local agents as to yours, but the vast majority of, of markets around the, the USA. So most of us have crested already. And you'll see flattening prices, you'll see longer days on market. These are all the indicators. And just reach out and I'll send you a copy of this so you can use it. And the what we call leading indicators are economic factors. They're economic factors you can measure. So are we seeing any political unrest, uh, change in days on market? I mean, I don't have to talk about this one, do I? Days on market, we are seeing longer days on market market we have actually just had a little drop in the interest rate but it's it's been going up um obviously from the good old heydays of the two percents are we seeing bank restrictions yes gross domestic domestic product yes and all of these are the indicators you can pause and take a look, look at those if you want to so we have three pathways when you have a home i call them the three pathways one is hold the home for the price so what you want to do there is imagine yourself at the holidays, let's say Thanksgiving, for example. The house I'm in now, does it work for me for that seven to 11 years? Because that's the next time we're going to see the peak, most likely 2030 to 2034. And that's when we'll see the real peak in the prices again. So if your home works for you for that next seven to 11 years, use 10 in your head and look at your family. Who's going to be sitting around that holiday table in 10 years time? Does it work for you and your family? Because you want to hold it that long to get the peak price. Probably what you don't want to do is in three and a half to five and a half years, sell it at the trough. Because last time, for example, we went down about 32% in this market. It was 25 to 30% in most markets around the country. Low, Very low priced markets tend to see less of a drop, probably for obvious reasons. The higher priced markets tend to see more of a drop. So in this market, we went down about 30%. So what's the price of your home? Um, we can give you your value in, in, in seconds. So, you know, reach out if you need the, the value of your home. What's the value of your home? What does that look like? 20 or 30% less. And are you okay with that? If you are, that's great. Otherwise, think about holding it for the 10 years. So let's look at number two, become or remain a landlord. Can you take your house now and rent it out for that period? Because Home prices rise 2 to 5% per year over the long term. So can you rent it out for that time? We can help you for, with that if you'd like. Maybe you don't have the appetite to be a landlord. It's only one other choice, sell it. If you're going to sell it, you want to get it out there as quickly as you can because once this starts going down, once that switch goes off, it gets very bumpy. Now, we do we do have little pockets here and there but we're going into this denial and the market's much more fearful, especially if you're in a market where people move from somewhere else, like we are in, in Western North Carolina, with people moving from New York, from California, from Florida, from Texas. Therefore, they're a little more fearful naturally anyway, because they don't know the market. So if there's any talks about a recession, which, hello, we all, we all know that's coming. It's not natural and normal for a period of time to go down, for it to go back up again then they get more fearful. So you, you really don't want to be selling down this bump if you can help it. You know, life happens. You uh, change jobs or get married, get divorced, have a baby, all those kind of things. People keep buying and selling houses. So I hope that helps. Just think about the three pathways, hold the home for the price, 
just make sure you've got that seven to 11 year time frame on that if you're going to do it. Become and remain a landlord for that period of time or sell it now. And if you're going to sell it now, give us a call 828-333-4483. If you're interested in a full market value cash offer without listing or going through all of that, you can go to cashcpo.com. That's C-A-S-H-C-P-O.com. That's for certified pre-owned. And we'll talk to you soon.